I am Carlos Spironelli Ramos, and in this segment, I keep showing some PPE options and a high speed handpiece option for less spray formation. We put together a FDA approved PPE kit to be used. It is an easy way to maximize the time and, and get protection. Look, I understand that from now on, we have to rethink the infection control chain from the moment that the patient comes to the front door to the end of the visit. I'm wondering if it is not a good time to redesign our offices, meaning I envision a, an infection control station right next to the front door. So the patient should serve himself with masks, eye protector, maybe a gown, hand sanitizer, all this stuff. All these devices give the perception that you are on top of the new situation. And more than anything else, you really care. Let's see the personal infection protection and cleanup kit video. Personal infection protection and cleanup kit. So pretty much you just open, let's open the kit. So here you have some very interesting stuff to be used. So let's see, and it's called Personal Infection Protection Cleanup Kit. We have here in Medidenta. It is eye bright. So basically you have the biohazard waste bag. Right, and you have some alcohol pre-loaded in little pads. So it's pretty cool, very interesting, and you have a good amount of them here, of course, to be used. Simple little pads, right? or little places, gloves, masks, right? So one for you, another one for your patient, and another one for your assistant. Eyewear. Two disposable full chair sleeves. Okay, so this is for your chair, right? Let's talk a bit about the emergency procedure itself, what we should do to minimize the risk of contamination. As I mentioned before, we have to face all emergencies as we are treating an infected patient. So we should minimize the use of high speed, for example. But in an emergency situation, there's no way of removing a carious lesion and have access to the pulp chamber without using a high speed burr. One possible way of reducing the aerosol is using the air-free type of a handpiece. In this video, you see the comparison between a regular handpiece and the air-free 90. The difference is that in traditional high-speed handpieces, the air is blown at the head of the handpiece and with water creates water spray that will increase the aerosol formation. With the air-free 90, the air goes to the back end of the handpiece, escaping through holes there. So you still have water, but you don't have the air as another component to increase the spray formation. Obviously, when the water touches the high-speed bird, you still have the mist formation, but less than with the traditional handpiece. People are asking me if there are studies showing that the use of this type of handpiece is safer in regarding of aerosol formation. The answer is no, or at least not that I am aware of. But as Dr. Hurst said in his paper about evidence-based dentistry in 2012, evidence can come in many forms. Even an opinion from a colleague or personal experience are forms of evidence and should spark the whole science process to prove it. 
So we are waiting for uh, studies on this sense. Thanks for your attention. Please join me in the last video in which I will talk about the most relevant procedures in relation to the emergency treatment in inflamed uh, vital poke cases. Thanks.